Hey, what's going on, guys? Lincoln Block Shooter. We are back with yet another video on the channel. Now, today, we'll be making a skip stage game pass for our checkpoint system. But before we go ahead and do that, we're just going to subscribe before I give back to all of our subscribers. So, it's Harper. Hey, it's Harper37. Let's just go ahead and subscribe. Corey Pranks, subscribe to him. Um, Tactive Dogs are the best. Subscribe. Let me know if I said that wrong, by the way. And Hayden Plays Games, let's subscribe. And there's one more person. Um, a B747, I guess. And we're just going to go and subscribe to him. Now, if you guys want to be uh, subscribed to and shouted out as well, then you should consider subscribing too. Um, so go ahead and subscribe to all these people. Um, thank you all for subscribing and into the video. Alright guys, so now we are over here on Roblox Studio and we need to make some checkpoints, of course, uh, before we start anything. So we can just head into our toolbox and we just looked up checkpoints, and we can find any checkpoint that we like. Um, that one looks quite nice. Uh, that one looks very... Okay, we're going to go ahead and do that one. Um, when I'm done with this, I will put a link in the description below to... Um, I'm going to make a model. So it's going to have all of the stuff in there that I use for this video. And just since there was a little bit of space in there, um, just had to fill that up. And let's click this spawn location and let's just get rid of that decal. Alright, so now we can just duplicate this. Central D, there we go. And let's just drag this other one over here. Okay, so that looks good. Now we have two checkpoints. So now we need to make the starter GUI. Alright, so now we are ready to make the UI layout. So let's just head over to here into Starter GUI and let's actually insert a screen GUI. And we can just rename this to um, Skip Stage. Stage uh, UI. There we go. And now we can just insert a uh, image button. There we go. And we can just rename this to skip button. There we go. And let's uh, add a image to this. So let's click on this and let's add an image. Open file. And let's choose this one that I made right here. And let's just click create. Okay, so that is going to insert this um, image that I made. You guys can actually insert in this to your game if you want to. I'm going to be making a model in the link in the description below so you can use it as well. Um, but yeah, so we can just go over to plugins and we can roundify this just to make it look a little bit nicer. Roundify, okay, it's border. We can just check that. Roundify. Okay, so that roundified it. Now we don't have an image, so we just need to go over here, and we need to actually set the index to 3. There we go. Okay, so now we have a nice skip stage thing. Um, I actually, I think I forgot to put a uh, no border on it. That was the problem. Uh, but yeah, so now that we have this, we can just click on this, and we can drag it over here. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Now it looks perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up so that you guys don't have to wait um, for me to script. But I will explain what I'm doing at the end. Alright guys, so now we actually have to insert our, um, what is it called? Our product ID, I guess. So this is what they are going to ask the players to buy. Um, when they do this. So head over to your Roblox right here and head over to create and actually go to whatever game 
you are going to select um okay this is what i'm doing test game for youtube and let's just right click on this gear icon and let's click configure game okay so now let's just go over to developer products and let's click create new now we can just name this skip stage okay so whenever they oh spell that wrong whenever they click this it'll ask for if you want to buy the skip stage and we can just do um this is to skip the stage when and needed okay there we go so we can just make the price in robux about 15 that sounds about right and let's just choose that same file that we had so skip stage open um so there is our image that's not actually the image but um there we go so let's just click create now we have successfully made this um so we can just um click this id right under here and we just copy that because we want to have the id so go back over to the script and just paste that right where it says local product id equals and then paste it right where that is okay so now we are going to get back into the scripting sun is coming up are you ready to go we can take a ride we can take it slow yo will is my lord i'ma let you be the boss cause i'll go with you go i'll take you to a place we can see Okay, so here at the end, we actually need to add that ID again. So let's just go ahead and paste that right there. Um, so that is it for the scripting. Um, so now we can move on to more of the scripting, but for that, we're just going to copy and paste. All right, guys, so I figured out what we did wrong. Um, since, as you can see, if we go over here, it does not currently work. Um, even though it says stage 1 and stage 2, so we just need to stage these to 1 and 2 instead of stage in front of them. Now, of course, that was just a silly mistake, um, and an also easy fix. None of the scripts went wrong, um, so that is all good. And we can just come in the game, and we can walk across um, to 1 and 2. Now, why is it spawning me on stage 2? That's very weird. Um, let's just change these to 2 and... So, change that to 1. And change that to 2. Oh, 2. That was weird. Uh, it shouldn't matter, but since I was just testing this out, um, I might have data saved. Um, so, let's just see if this works now. Um, so we are on stage one, and if we just walk across to the other checkpoint, as you can see, it just switched to stage two. So now that actually works, uh, so now we have a working checkpoint system, um, so that is very good. Uh, now we actually need to make the script, so if we click six, skip stage, then it will take us to the other thing if we buy the uh, developer product. Okay guys, so before we actually move on to the next important script, I made one quick mistake. Um, an easy fix, but just a big deal if you want it to work. Um, so as you can see, there was a normal script in here, and we just needed to make that a local script. So I did actually copy it, and now we have a normal uh, local script. Um, so that was the only fix. Um, so now if we uh, play test the game, then we click this button and it will work um so at first it wasn't working it should have but you know my fault i should have just done a uh local script uh we usually do local script with strategy wise i just kind of got confused so if we click stick skip stage bye now Okay, so now it works. Um, that was just the test purchase, by the way. No, I didn't. I just spent 15 Robux on testing my own game. Um, but yeah, now you can see that it works, so that's very, very cool. So now we can actually add another ship. So if we click this and we buy it, then it will switch us to stage 2. Um, Alright guys, so now we need to insert that script that will trigger 
um, the Game Pass to move us over there. Um, instead of just staying here and wasting 15 Robux, which then your game's going to get banned, and wow, that would be really, really, really bad. Okay, so now we just need to go over to server script service, and we need to add in a script, and we can just rename it to skip stage uh, script, I guess. Skip stage script, and I actually have it right here. Um, and all you need to change with this script is go over to where it says if recipient info dot product ID. Um, just you need to paste your product ID. So go over here and copy yeah, that product ID, and go over here and paste it back in. Um, so now if we go and play the game, then indeed it will trigger the game pass to push us over there um, if we found the stage hard or complicated um, so yeah so we are on stage one and if we click skip stage by now uh, now it's not gonna work that's weird um, okay let's see what we did wrong um, okay, that's weird. Okay, I do not know what happened there. Um, let me see. It's supposed to reset them. Um, that was weird. Let me check right now. Okay, guys, so I figured out it was just a little Roblox bug. So now, if we play the game, and we click 6 stage, then it will skip us to the next stage. Um, so here we go. I just made them black, by the way, just to make them. Uh, that was the fix. That was really it. And if we click skip stage, as you can see, we're on stage 1. By now. It resets us, and we go to stage two, not only on the leaderboard, but to the other spot. See, now we're on stage two. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out all of my videos. Um, subscribe if you're new. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. And hopefully you all had a fabulous time learning how to script and how to make this skip stage GUI with me during this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. See you all next time. Bye. Yeah, why you mad? I got a bad bro. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one.